Hey you guys, alright so I was just kind of testing out the camera and the light and everything and I think we're okay so I'm, I'm not even gonna, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go. I don't have a mirror, I was gonna put my hair, I'm gonna do right here but I think, so I think we'll just go ahead and go. Let me um, put my hair up because I know that I'll be messing with it the whole time if I don't. Okay so happy Friday you guys, it's um, early-ish. On Friday today, and um, I thought I would just film the same day I was gonna post because today, this week has been so busy, and then I was working on something for next week too. Uh, I've got something really fun coming up next week. So um, yeah, I wanted to get a video up today because I feel like it's been it's been a little bit, right? It's been like, well, it's been like a week, but whatever. Okay. So today I wanted to come in here in the closet, in my closet, obviously, and share with you guys. Uh, some things that I have been loving, right? Like we do beauty favorites, you know, things like that. This is like things that I'm loving in my closet, not from a specific brand, a specific store. But just show you guys like, okay, this is, oh, did I bring my sleep shirt in here? Because I want to really show you that. I'll show you that at the end because I'll have to go get it. Things that I wear all the time. Things that I'm really, really loving. New things, old things, things that I'm actually wearing. Not just like new things that I've gotten that I was like, this is cute, that's cute. I do have like two new things, well, a couple new things that I'm going to show you guys. But things that I'm actually wearing all the time. Things that I'm grabbing for favorites, right? Just clothing favorites. And um, I don't know, just like talk about random stuff. I don't know, I feel like when we're in here sitting down, just the random kind of kind of picks up. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. Here's what. And we're going to get into this in this video, and I feel like I've got some rants. I've got a lot of rants coming, so just buckle up. I don't even know why I feel like that today. I just feel like there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. But one being, it's not fall yet, okay? It's friggin' hot. I mean, okay, I live in the south. We're in Georgia. We're kind of like in north Georgia, north of Atlanta. It's beautiful here. Every season has a, just, we, we definitely have seasons and it's beautiful, okay? Someone say the other day, like, they moved to Georgia and they didn't have seasons. I'm like, unless if you're, like, on, like, extreme south Georgia, you're gonna have seasons. But she was like, it's, it's not cold here. And I'm like, it's September. It's early September. And guess what? Fall doesn't start until I think, like, last, one of the last days of September. I don't know. It's not supposed to be cool yet, okay? But we are getting a little taste of cool. It's not quite as humid. So that's been okay. Kind of, I don't know. <sighs> we'll get into that, okay? But my point is, a lot of these things are like transitional things. I think that a lot of, like this, oh my gosh, the sweater. This is so good, you guys. I had contemplated buying this for the longest time, and I never did, because I really thought it was going to be very short. But what's so cool, but it's not, it's not, first of all. I'm wearing it with um, my favorite cutoffs that I will link to. I love these. But... Something that I just, what's happening? Oh, it's my pocket. Something that I really love about this is that its it has like this easy vibe to it. I love the color of it, but you can kind of adjust it. So you could like make it go even higher up at your neck and then it would be a little shorter. You could adjust it and make it go much lower. But it's just one of those tops that you could get away with wearing you know, when it's a little warmer outside, when you go into air-conditioned places, that's like me, right? Like all year, like I want to wear sweatshirts inside in the summertime. I want to wear, like you can't, like when you live somewhere where it's very hot, you can't wear skimpy ass clothes all the time because you'll freeze everywhere you go because everywhere is like, the AC is like cranked to the max. So no thank you. Um, but whatever, okay? Hey, listen, we'll, we'll get into my like whole weather issue that I'm having. It's comfortable. I want to look and see what other colors they have it in because I've really, really fallen in love with it. So, favorites one and two would be like this and these shorts. And since like, you know, March, like stay at home, whatever you want to call it, quarantine, like all this. I, you know, we've done a lot of different videos. I've kind of gone through phases. Beginning, I was just wearing like very lounge clothes, and then, you know, like as you kind of started doing some more things and stuff. I, I've been ex more excited. I'm gonna talk about the bag I've been carrying lately, too. Um, I've been more excited to like carry my different bags, wear some different things that aren't like the same leggings and sweatpants every day. Dresses, oh my gosh, y'all, I've got some really good things to show, but I've really been enjoying these denim shorts. They're comfortable. I'm still not so into wearing like big, like big, I'm legit like denim jeans and I don't know, I'm just not there yet. I'm not gonna sit around the house and I don't like to sit around the house in jeans anyways, but these shorts are different. I don't know, these are just very good, they're very comfortable. And I always say size up. I didn't in these for whatever reason, because I was looking the other day and I was like, these are feeling kind of tight. Like, is this, it's just like this, 
time catching up with me. And then I looked and for whatever reason, I don't know if it was like a sizing thing. You know sometimes like you order a size and they send you a different one because they've already like adjusted the size for you. I don't know. I always order shorts a size or two bigger. I just always have. I think that they're just more flattering looking to make your legs look smaller if you do that hot tip, okay? But they're my regular size. So they fit, but I just want them to be a little bigger. So I might or order these in a bigger size and then I'll have two pairs because I like these too. Okay, um... And I also have like some never see, speaking of, people talking about like masks and stuff and things that they like. Like I haven't seen anyone like recommend masks that they like or even make a big deal about that because for me it's like depressing and I'm like I don't want to really be like guys go buy this because I think that's, I don't want to say that. I think there's people doing some really great things that are making them and doing great things with the proceeds or whatever but I'm not into like I don't want a section of my closet of masks. I bought some of those Skims ones a long time ago when I was like super into the Skims. They didn't really stay on my face the best. I have a few that are really good. And here's what, like I said, I didn't want to like get into this right at the top, but um, that I hate to even put it on because I, I, wa I just wash my, and that's the thing. I don't want to buy a whole bunch of like different ones. I like the ones that are honestly just disposable because the whole thing grosses me out. I think that everyone's acting like this is, listen, and I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm all for it. I'm, everywhere you go, you know, you pretty much it's required. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't care. It's not, it's really no sweat off my back. I mean, yeah, I had, we had to get masks. I mean, yeah, it's like we're used to it now. Um, we go a lot of places that are outdoors, but to me, it's just not a big deal. Olivia doesn't mind it. She has some little cute ones that she enjoys wearing, but who cares? I think it's like more harmful to your health, like all the freaking complaining that people are doing about it. So just wear it. Who cares? I bought like a big pack of those like blue, you know, in the beginning and the ones that look like this, the disposable ones. And, um, it's all fine and good, but something about it, I just, I, here's my thing. Here's what it is. I refuse to make a fashion statement with my mask. No shame if you do, no harm. I've seen some people, I'm like, that's cute, you look cute. It's one of those things that I'm resisting, okay? Which means I'll probably, I mean, God, hopefully, God, hopefully I won't have to. I just don't wanna wear those blue ones because I hate that color, that color. I love blue, blue's my favorite color. I love all shades of blue. I love a powder blue, I love a sky blue. I love a bright blue. For whatever reason, that color, that the masks are blue are awful. So I found these that are kind of a peachy color. And, you know, I like that they have the little bendy thing on your nose. It's just depressing AF. It's like, whatever. We all know to do it. It's like, who cares? Don't want to make a big deal about it. But if you do want to buy a few and you want something that is breathable, that's actually comfortable, this is what you need. When you get them, you're going to be very tempted to flip them inside out to where the seam is kind of like, because there's like a raw seam and that's what looks like you know, when you get them, they're folded like that. And it's kind of like bathing suit material. I've washed these several times in the sink, just with regular little bar soap. I use that little like laundress um, bar soap that I got like a sample of a long time ago and it lasts forever. That's what I've been washing these in. You want to keep that raw seam on the outside, okay? And it just, like you could breathe through it. It's just odd. Like that one that I just put on, like I, those disposable ones kind of choke me out. Like I feel like I can't breathe in them. Then I got these a while back too and these are good. These are comfy, mm, but those kind of hug to your face, and I like that these don't hug to your lips or your face. They hug around, but you're not like smushed in, and you don't have to touch them a lot. That's what I'm grossed out by. I feel like the whole time, you see people in parking lots, and they come out, and they've been touching the buggy, and they're just grabbing their mask, and blah, and then you see people that have it like hanging off their, hanging a disposable mask, looks like they've been used like 3,000 times off of their rear view mirror. Like, that's the point of getting a disposable one. It's like, throw it out, get a fresh one, get a fresh one, and don't even get me started on if you're driving around in your car by yourself with a mask on. I don't want to get into it. I didn't even want to talk about that in this video, so let's move on. If you're wanting some suggestions, because I know I haven't mentioned any of those, and that is a reality. Uh, whether you like it or not, whether, you know, you're going to complain about it or not, it's a reality, okay? Let's just go with it and let's, like, get good ones, okay? But let's not go crazy, okay? Because let's be honest, I'd rather buy other things. Okay, what else? Fall. Everyone's pretending that it's fall right now. Every year I feel like I have some sort of rant about this. Fall has been so, like, romanticized. I got a lot of crap about this in a couple videos ago where I was, like, sitting on my closet floor talking about, you know, my disdain for fall. It's not that I hate it. It's just, I like a cooler, I like a break of cooler weather. I live in the South, okay? I get it. I want that break. I want that that break in the weather, right? I like the bit of cool. Um, I love fall clothes. But as far as, like, romanticizing the season, it is what it is. Like, it is 
beautiful. And someone told me, I had so many people said, well, you just need to go somewhere where it's beautiful. I live in North Georgia. We can see the Blue Ridge Mountains from when the leaves are all gone, right? In our neighborhood, when you go up a certain street nearby, it's like just gorgeous. You could see the whole Ridge of the Mountains. It's so beautiful, okay? We live in the most beautiful, I will say that. I feel like where we live is so, so beautiful and we do truly get all of the seasons. But when people are like, well, not right now, it's because it's not fall yet. I said this earlier, it is not fall yet. Fall starts at the tail end of September. We're gonna have all of October, all of November, and I think winter doesn't even start till like the day before Christmas officially. We get lots of cold, snow sometimes. I'm just I'm just saying to you, it's gonna happen. Last year we could not even trick or treat. Was it last year or the year before? It was so icy cold on um, Halloween and windy. It was bizarre, okay, it was so bizarre. It was like crazy because usually it's not that cold yet. Sometimes it is. It'll get there, but people push it. That's Here's what. Stop rushing me. Stop rushing me out of my summer. I want to enjoy these last few weeks. Do you know what I mean? What like people say, you know, that have a real big issue, you know, like when I put my Christmas trees up before Thanksgiving. Okay, I'll continue to do that because I don't care. I want, I want a full... I want like a good couple months to enjoy Christmas, right? And like I said, Thanksgiving is not something I decorate for. Thanksgiving is a day that we celebrate. I'm not decorating my house for fall or Thanksgiving. I just don't do it. I have candles. I have pretty things. I don't want orange and brown and all that. That's my least favorite colors. But in Georgia, in most places where there is a beautiful fall, you're going to see that maybe a week to two weeks at the most. There's certain times when you like you drive through the mountains and it's like leaf week or it's like leaf, you know, couple weeks, whatever it is. It's not like this magical three month long season where you have this beautiful foliage. Like I'll take pictures like the couple days where it's beautiful. I'll go through, I'll look, it's, it's really pretty. But those leaves don't stay on the trees. They're like that for a hot second. They fall, they make a mess. If you, and, and then like, we have so many trees in our yard. You do not even understand the amount. I mean, it's crazy. I'm sure a lot of you do. And a lot of you are like me and you're like, I can appreciate fall, but I just also don't get it at the same time. And I think what it is is that this year I just wanted more summer. I'm just mad about it. I don't know. I just want like one more month like where it's going to be nice and we can swim. And seeing all these like leaves that are starting to fall already, everything still looks very green. There's a little bit I can see that are changing. Not Nothing to like go nuts about or to like kick up my heels and throw on my chunky sweaters and like pose for Instagram um, with my coffee. Not doing that, okay? I'm not doing that right now. We'll get there. Actually, no, we won't. I can't, I've got a whole thing about that, too. Just, just don't rush it. Let's just don't rush it, okay? Don't rush it. Y'all, I got... I swear we're gonna get to the close. I just... But, you know, I like to talk. I got crap for saying that in my last video where I talked about this. People were like, Tiffany, I followed you for all these years. You just lost me when you talked about fall. And I'm like, really? You can't talk to someone or, like, enjoy someone that, that has a different opinion? And what was even so bad about when I said nothing? Yeah, you know, I don't have an issue. I want people to do whatever they want to do. I love it when people say, oh, I love fall, whatever. But understand where I'm coming from. If you're going to come for me for saying the opposite, if you live somewhere where the leaves don't fall and you don't have seasons, okay? Don't come for me. That was my whole point. Over a month ago during the anniversary sale, like I was showing all my fall things that I bought, but I'm not like kicking up my feet in like the two leaves that have fallen in my backyard, wearing my chunky sweater, holding, you know, with my knee-high boots and my, you know, my prop Starbucks pumpkin spice thousand calorie latte pretending that it's fall when it's not. That's my issue. And I like, don't get me wrong, like the whole influencer like culture is not, the, the humor of it all and the hilarity of it all is not lost on me. And I realize that I'm technically one of them, but I didn't like set out to do, to do that. I love it. I love what I do. I think it's fun. I've done it in my own way. I feel like it's very authentic. But I started this almost, I started this like going on 13 years ago. Okay, I'm working on my 13th year. And none of that existed. It was YouTube. I built my following based on my personality and who I am. And you know, people having to see me. I think when you are doing videos, it is a little harder. I heard someone say that the other day on a podcast. People talking about how they had had a podcast for like, I think a year or two. And they were like two years and they were so proud that they had built their following based on their personality. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's, that should be what it's all about. And I like that. I don't knock anybody that's building it however they want. But um, at the same time, they were knocking YouTubers, Instagrammers, and I'm thinking YouTube, like, put yourself on camera and do what you do. Do it for 12 years or however, you know what I mean? And like, 
I don't know. I, I, I just feel like there's value in everything um, except for TikToking. No, I'm kidding. I really resisted TikToking, you guys. I'm still, and, and, and I did it because for the same reason of Snapchat, I kept thinking, this isn't super groundbreaking. I feel like, you know, if Instagram exists, there's something that can be done there, and they did. And then now we have stories. You can't even remember Instagram hardly without stories, right? And now it's like Snapchat, nobody ever talks about it. And I feel kind of like TikTok's gonna become that. <laughs> they, they created reels, you know what I mean? And so, but I mean, and then I have sometimes, like I know I'm very wordy, obviously, right now, and I just wanted to talk to you guys, and I do want to share these clothes with y'all, but here's what. I have been doing this so long that I know that I cannot come on here and put out a one-second video where I'm like, I'm going to wash my face, here's my routine, I use this, 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 uh, whatever, this is what I'm wearing, and I also don't like fall, and bye. I would get so many questions, people would say, wait a minute, what, you don't like, wait, why, wait, 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 why, why are you wearing that shirt? Are you sure that shirt isn't on backwards? Like, what's going on with your earrings? Who makes this? Who makes that? 50,000 questions, wait a minute, but what order do you apply this skincare? Would this skincare work for this? What kind of skin type do you have? Do you ever break out from this? What are the ingredients? And it's like, I've done this for so long that I know, literally, I know my audience, I know that I wouldn't, I know myself, I wouldn't want to watch a YouTube video where someone wasn't explaining or someone wasn't answering my questions. And that's what this is. It's more personal. I want to explain things to you guys. And so when I was literally in that video talking about fall, I then had people say, and I was talking about schooling my child on that. And people were like, why are you being, you know, you just explain yourself so much. You have to explain everything. And I'm thinking, well, because if I came on here and I said, yeah, we made a decision about Olivia's school and um, I'm not going to talk about it. Or this mask sucks. This is good, but I'm not going to show it. Or yeah, I just don't like fall. Sucks. But I'm not going to talk about it. People would be like, well, why? You know, people want to know. People want, that's what we're doing here. And again, this isn't TikTok. If you want that, go to TikTok and like someone that you don't know personally, find like a talking head that is not going to have an opinion. <laughs> TikTok, take one. Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you how to get like a perfect glowing skin. You're going to look flawless and fabulous and you're going to look like a movie star, okay? Step one, turn on the water. Step two, wash your face. Step three, moisturize. Step four. Four, mascara foundation. They're not gonna show it, they're not gonna talk about what kind of use. Five, you're a movie star. Flawless. Oh my god. Thank you for watching. I can't do I can't do that. I feel like that would offend me. That's why I don't watch TikTok. That's why I just I cannot get on board with TikTok. And I know that there's so many other things to do with it, but I just don't need it. I cannot I don't want to waste my time like scrolling through three thousand hours. We're already like doing that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I'd rather just watch somebody that I enjoy and like catch up and hear like their opinions, you know. I know how to turn on the water and grabbed like my unmarked facial cleaner and like washed my face. I don't know how all that became this, but let's continue. Speaking of jeans, oh my gosh, I have some shoes that I've been wearing a lot too. Okay, these are so good. Again, like denim, I want it to be comfortable. These are so stretchy. And honestly, like I love right now, if I am gonna wear denim, I want like a baggy, kind of distressed, really super light color jean, right? Or I could do like for a more fitted pair, like a real skinny pair, but it has to be super, super light colored or it has to pretty much be black. And I love these. They have a little bit of distressing because I'm not going to, I'm going to wear a pair of black denim that doesn't have distressing. Girlfriend's just going to wear leggings, okay? Like I'm not going to go for all that trouble, but these are really, really good, you guys. And I'll link to them. It's just the right amount of distressing. They are so comfortable. And speaking of like dresses and things, like I said, you know, there's things that I've been wearing and you guys have probably seen these in a lot of my photos or this. In the mornings, I will throw this on, you guys, and I don't even, like, I hate to say this, like, I don't even wear a bra like 90% of the time anymore. This whole time has just it's killed that for me, okay? Like when I have to put one on, I feel like I'm like in prison. Do you know what I mean? I never had that feeling before, but this dress, you guys, so good. You could dress it up or down and I've had these for years. If you didn't buy it during the sale, that sucks, but they do go on sale a lot of times. This one I just picked up recently. I'm adding some animal print like slowly back, you know what I mean? In like a tasteful way. Speaking of, Carol Baskin's gonna be on Dancing with the Stars, can't even imagine. I may have to watch that for a while, but Tyra Banks is gonna be the host. And I am all, I mean, she's gorgeous, right? But when she had the talk show back in the day, um, she kind of lost me. There was like some things that were a little weird. Okay, but whatever. Well, we're going to give it a try. This one has like a little bit of like, not ruffles, but it's just a little like flouncy at the bottom. But it's the same 
it's basically like the same it's the same brand same dress this one is just like the black one but it's this beautiful blue color I just love those I mean they wash up beautifully I've had some of those for a very long time I think I have a green one they're just wonderful you can throw them on and you feel a little better than like waking up throwing on like you know your sweats I've really been into off-shoulder things but a lot of the things that I bought that were off-shouldered like for you know the fall and the winter they're a little more like sweatery I'm not really wearing like heavy sweatery thing this again like I said you could wear this on a very warm day it's just like it's just very holy like tons of holes in it you know what I mean it's very very loose weave so you can get away with that now but a lot of those things that I bought that are more like furry I'm, I cannot I would die right now but I'm all for an off-the-shoulder top and these oh my gosh you guys are so so cute I'll try this one on for you I also got it in black oh my gosh y'all like I hate to even take this off like I don't even Sorry, I'm sitting on this big like beanbag chair. I just don't want to take this off. I just love it so much. But I'm gonna, because I'm gonna show you this other top. Okay, I went and I grabbed my little sleep shirt that I was gonna show you guys too. Okay, so this is super, super cute. And it's not cropped, so we're not in Britney Spears territory. But I just, I love the color. I love it with a pair of shorts like this. You could put it on again, like with black um, pants that I just showed you guys. You could push the sleeves up and make sort of like a little vibe like that you could pull them down such a comfortable light breezy vibe these are the perfect house slippers I bought some during the anniversary sale that were more expensive they had like a closed toe vibe but these I got several months ago and you know they're crisscrossed so you know your toes stick out but they are so affordable. They come in tons of different colors. I think they're like under $20. These are just my faves. So I thought, you know, I cannot do a favorites without showing that because I love, love, love those. Let me show you this real quick so I can just um, put it away. So anyways, during the anniversary sale, you guys, I told you about these sleep shirts that they were selling. And I have a black one from Victoria's Secret that's very similar. You know, it has like a button up thing. It's not... I, silk sleep sets, you know, you know, the typical Victoria's Secret, you know, button down. Something very kind of just like satisfying, like a little vibey, like, you know, walking around your house and that, you know, and I, but I don't want to go to sleep and sleep in something that's restricting silk. I mean, they don't stretch. They're just restricting. I always end up changing before bed, but these are stretchy. So I had a black one that was like a, you know, made like a shirt like this. I saw these during the anniversary sale. They came in this color in black and they've since added another color. So I got this one since I already had a black one, you know, that was similar. This one was from Nordstrom, obviously, like I said, I got it during the anniversary sale. I believe they're like $45 now worth every penny. I think I paid like maybe 30, 29 at the sale. I don't even remember. So I wish I would have just bought the black then because I recently bought the black as well because it is so much better. I slept in this last night. I've slept in this like every night. I had to go in there because I had slept in it last night. It's so comfortable. I'm so excited to get the black one. It's not like a heavy material. It's just a nice, stretchy, like, substantial feeling, like, silky material. I don't know. Just get it. It's so good. I'm all about the dresses right now. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a photo wearing this not that long ago. It has, like, the smock top. So what I was wearing on Instagram recently and um, again, very affordable, very stretchy. It's not so constricting. Sometimes you wear things that are more smocked or as one of you guys corrected me on Instagram, shirred. Y'all know what I mean, okay? If it's strapless, usually sometimes it'll be very constricting or it can be a little thicker. The actual part that goes around your chest is very um, like giving, you know what I mean? But um, I love this dress so much. Again, it's one of those things. I wake up, roll out of bed, I throw this on, throw on one of those other dresses, and I feel like I'm put together, but I feel even more comfortable than I did in my PJs. Um, these tops, you guys, years and years ago, maybe four or five years ago, is when I really got into these little pocket tops. They've sold these for years at Nordstrom. Every year on the anniversary sale, you can grab them for about like 10 bucks. I think normally maybe they might be like 19. It's still worth it at that. But then, you know, over the years, you know, I found different tops that I liked or whatever, and then I got out of it. Now I'm, like, heavily back into them. These are just so superior. I just love them. So I'll link to those. If I am going to grab a t-shirt, that's what I've been grabbing. And, uh, listen, okay, I have so many cutesy sandals, flip-flops, all these, like, cutesy designer things, things that are very comfortable. Um, but for whatever reason, for the last, like, several months, all summer, really, in spring, 
I have had these flip-flops just sitting in my laundry room and every time we leave I go I just I just throw them on and you know I don't really have a lot of flip-flops and these are really good they're so squishy and again I just throw them on I just throw them on everywhere I go and they're just like basic reef flip-flops yes yeah, this is cushion by reef they're so cushiony and satisfying um, not the most exciting shoes to look at but that's what I've been wearing I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be honest with you and then um again like that's what I've been doing most of the time the dresses or I'm throwing on these shorts with a top that's you know a little cozier because like I said I don't want to wear shorts and like a tank top even if it's hot outside you know if I'm in the car I don't want to freeze to death if I'm inside somewhere I don't want to freeze I think especially this time of year just I, I just love the look of like a sweatshirt or a long sleeve shirt like this with sweater with a pair of shorts and um, y'all saw this and I think actually I did already did show these in a video but these are just been my favorite and I'm gonna get this in the green too I just really really love it both of these you saw this on me on Instagram and I changed my battery and you know like this thing too is over these last several months I haven't really been doing a lot of like outfit posts because I've been doing what we've all been doing. I don't know. I just don't feel like what I'm wearing is that profound. Like, I'll talk about it in a video and say, like, I love these leggings. I've been just wearing this and that. Just, like, very, like, loungy things. And I'm not gonna, like, post a photo to, like, try to seem more likable. Like, I'm not that desperate to seem, like, real or likable to, like, show you guys, like, this is what I look like in the morning. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm gonna post something on Instagram if it's pretty, if it's, like, I don't even say profound, or like if, it's, if it's important to me, I'm not trying to seem likable by like showing you how like garbage I look in the morning, or I don't know, okay? I'm just gonna post something if I think it's cute. I don't know where we've like gotten away from that. I don't, like I said, I just think, I'm really on a roll today, huh? With like social media and everything that's like, every now and then I go on one of these about social, and I'm not even, I don't, I'm not even fully on like you guys, I would. I mean, you don't even, you don't even know. Um, but you, you, you know what I mean. I just post real stuff that I like. And I feel like lately, that's my point. I feel like lately I've been more, not motivated, but I've just been having a little more fun with my clothes or just wearing different things. We're carrying my different bags that I haven't carried in a while. I know that seems kind of funny, but like, you know, I was basically carrying that little Prada backpack, that little black one for like five or six months straight, I carried that. And then I got a new cute little bag, carried that a little bit. And I've been really swapping into like different ones. Cause I've, I guess when I got that really tiny, but that little new Chanel bag that I talked about a while back, you know, even when I took my cards out of it, I put them in a smaller little thing. So I had very little to put in another bag. I have like very few and little things to put in another bag. So I've been kind of having fun like just swapping around with different outfits and just carrying different things and just enjoying different things. And um, I swapped into this and I haven't changed out of it in a while. I feel like this is gonna be the one that really sticks for a while. When I got this at the end of last year, I didn't, I loved it. I knew I really loved it, but I don't think, I don't really think I had a huge chance to bond with it. I know I carried it for a while at one point, but never like just for months on end. And um, I can see this being like the next little one. This is the new version that doesn't have the weird zipping issue. It just like zips like butter. It's like so nice and it actually holds a lot because it's such like a, you know, squared off little bag, but I've really been enjoying this. This is what I've been carrying. It's just easy and I don't know. I just think it's just fun and looks kind of effortless and cute. So I've really been enjoying that. Accessories have been pretty simple. This is the first time I feel like I've worn a necklace in a while. When I do, this is the one that I wear. This is that adjustable one that I got not that long ago. I think I got it during the sale. But oh my gosh, you guys, I think it comes in silver and in rose gold. But I just have the yellow gold. It has a little bead in the back. It has a little, I'm wearing it a little longer today. It has a bead in the back that you can adjust. So you can wear it all the way up like a choker if you wanted to. Um, but I like this better than just like a necklace that has like a few little selections like on a chain. I like this because you could literally make it as large or as long or as short as you want. And then um, I'm wearing my fun earrings. I haven't worn these in a while. These are just, like I could wear the most bummy thing throw on a pair of hoops or throw on these and like feel like a million bucks, you know? But most days, I'm not wearing these. These are a little bit heavier and a little more special, but these are just the ones that I've been throwing on. I used to have a really plain pair of hoops that I like that didn't have any stones in them or anything. 
and these I kind of felt were a little fancier or flashier, but I don't really think that anymore. I, I mean, they are, but in a good way. Like, you could put this on with a t-shirt with, like, just a, like a jogger set or just the most bummiest thing, and you don't even realize you're wearing them because they're so lightweight, but they are so, so cute, and I'll link to those. And then, like, I just feel like I talked about these so much. If you never ordered these, you, you're just, you're missing out. These are so good. They're these little studs, and I just feel like, well, they're kind of, like, bigger studs. But just the color of them, like, they're this beautiful, like, peach color. They come in a bunch of different colors, but this peach is the best. I just feel like they light up my whole face. It's just the easiest, you know, you don't even have to have on makeup or anything. You put those on, and I just feel like it lights up your whole face. Do you know what I mean? Um... So, a few things that are, like I said, this is not something that I'm wearing all the time by any means, but it is something that I wanted to, where's the, oh, the little, has a little, you know, cami under it. I want to tell you this, to grab it before it's not available anymore. It's kind of a shorter dress. It has, again, like a little, you know, like a gathered, is it shared? Or is it, it's not small. I don't know what it is. It has a little, it has a shared, um, but a little tighter, you know, in the middle, and I just, I had a dress that, and I think I might still have it, that had this sort of um, silhouette years ago, and I just loved it. And like I said, it has a liner underneath it. It's just so, so cute. And I thought that the print on it was cute too. They had one that looked a little more floral, but I thought this would be really cute for a fall. Put it on with some, you know, it's like some booties or open-toed booties or just like some cute heels. But I just thought such an easy dress. And um, I thought I'd show you all that. What else? What else are we talking about? I also grabbed this dress recently, and I haven't gotten into it as much as my other ones, but I feel like I will. I mean, what's not to love? It's just a basic, long, just maxi dress, like, that I could throw on in the style of those other ones. Has, like, a few little lines on the front. It's really cute. Doesn't have, like, a gathering under the chest like the other ones or anything like that. It's just long and flowy. You know, those I think are good transitional items. I think all of these are, you know what I mean? It's not so, like, summer or fall heavy or anything. It's just... Here's what it is. It's just truly what I'm wearing now. Like I said, I just don't want to force things and pretend like I'm wearing things that I'm not. I know in this whole like influencer or, you know, world of like clothes or fashion or advertise, whatever you're seeing, it's going to be like for months ahead. You start talking about fall clothing so much earlier. And that's why I really wanted to give you guys the heads up and, you know, with the Nordstrom sale and get your fall things early. But I just, I'm not going to pretend like that's what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I just wanted, I just wanted to talk about the things that I've been loving. Come in here and talk about whatever. Obviously, I feel like we talked about a lot more than clothes too. When I get in here, I just feel like I just... I don't know. We just like unload. But um, anyways, you guys, I'll link to everything that I talked about in the video. I hope that you guys have had a wonderful week. It feels good to sit here and catch up with you guys. And um, I can't wait till next week. I've got something really fun coming up. So maybe uh, check for that on Monday. So we'll have another video coming up sooner than later. So thank you guys for watching. Love you so much. If you didn't see me try on anything in this video, head to my Instagram. Most of all these things I've, I've talked about recently and, and posted photos of. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Love you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye y'all.